Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and you guys know me man, I love easter eggs here in the Call of Duty series, and the map Daybreak is of course full of them. In my first ever walkthrough of this map, I ended up finding 4 hidden pots of gold, and since then I have dedicated several hours to trying to find every single hidden pot of gold here on this map. In total I have come up with 9 of them, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys here in this video, but just as a caveat going forward, there is a chance that I ended up missing 1 or 2 pots of gold here on this map and just in case that is the case let me know about that down there in the comments and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and find that particular pot of gold that you told me about I will get a screenshot of it and I will post a link to that screenshot and pin it at the top of the comments so just to make sure everybody can actually find every single pot of gold I want to make sure all my bases are covered here so just in case there are some that I missed let me know I don't think I missed any though man because I've spent hours on this map I have flown around in spectator mode I have searched every single trash can I have crawled through every single bush I feel as though I have found all of them so let's get started the nine hidden pots here on daybreak the first one of course is going to be here inside of the barn a lot of people know about the leprechaun that is right here but did you know that right next to him is actually going to be a pot of gold if I can get this balloon out of the way so here is going to be a pot of gold right next to the fridge I walked past this one so many times it just it's one of those things where it's kind of hidden in plain sight and it's very easy to miss the second one is going to be all the way over here by the chicken coop. Now I did actually find this in my first ever walkthrough of the map but it's going to be right here inside of the chicken coop and next to it is actually going to be another leprechaun. There are actually several leprechauns here on this map and just as a rule of thumb if you do find a leprechaun there is a chance that there is a pot of gold near him but that's not always the case. A good example of that would be this leprechaun that's hiding in here. To my understanding there is no pot of gold around here. I have searched all around there. I could not find a pot of gold that is actually linked to that particular leprechaun. The third pot of gold is going to be all the way up here you climb up this ladder here I'm gonna grab the drag knob just to show you guys a little bit easier but the third one is actually going to be right here on top of this little scrap of tin here on the roof of the garage and right next to it of course is going to be another leprechaun now the fourth one's kind of tricky to actually go ahead and get into I'm actually in old school mode here what's interesting is I don't think you can actually see it without actually being in old school mode let's test it out here if I have a sni yeah if I have a sniper rifle Wow, yeah, even without a sniper, yeah, you can't even see it barely. So you basically need to be in hold school mode. Get on top of this tractor right here. Now, I hope I get this right on the first try. There we go. Run and jump towards this corner. It may take you a couple of tries to get it. It's going to be hidden right here. I think that's a very good spot. That is a very well hidden pot of gold. That, of course, is the fourth one. The fifth one is actually going to be in this little courtyard behind the building. It's going to be in this tree which has been struck by lightning. There is going to be our fifth pot of gold. All the way over here, you can actually find another leprechaun. I thought maybe there'd be another pot of gold over here just because there's a leprechaun hidden right here. But I think that leprechaun is tied to that particular pot of gold right there. I could be wrong, but that's just what I think. So those are going to be five so far. Let's go over here. This is actually going to be the sixth one, although this one does not have gold in it. So inside of the garage itself here, you have one up there on top of that uh, scrap of tin. The other one's going to be right here, although I don't know if you want to count this one because it has beer in it rather than having gold, but I'm going to count that as six. Now let's continue on here. The seventh one is going to be in this building over here, which is a building that not a lot of people go into, so it's very easy to miss. It's going to be right there. Here is going to be number seven. Number eight is going to be on top of this roof. Now to actually see it very easily, just simply go up the turret building right here and you're going to be able to find it. This is actually the first one I ever found. Right there is number eight. The ninth and final pot of gold here on this map is actually actually going to be in the very back behind this building right here. It's going to have a leprechaun right next to it. Here it is, the pot of gold and the leprechaun, and that in total is going to be nine hidden pots here on this map. Now, what's actually interesting about this is not every single one of these pots actually has gold in it. For example, let's go into spectator mode here just to show you guys this. This one inside of this building here doesn't actually have anything in it whatsoever, which I find interesting. I think the reason why there's no gold in there at all is simply because they don't need to animate that unless you're in spectator mode you're not actually going to see this you're not going to be able to fly up there if you're just playing the map normally you're not going to be able to see that gold whatsoever so what's the point of them actually taking the time to put the gold in there which I find to be interesting you think they would just have one asset one pot of gold and just hide it a bunch throughout the entirety of the map but it appears they actually did change it and of course over here you're going to have the pot which is full of beer as well so in total there are seven pots of gold one pot of beer and one empty pot but in total I think we can just say there are nine pots of gold here on 
on this map in total. Now, if you guys know of any other locations, let me know about that down there in the comment section below. Again, I've searched this map high and low. I really have trying to find every single hidden pot of gold because I love Easter eggs and I wish that every map going forward would have Easter eggs like this or even go back in the past and retroactively put them in. I love it when maps have Easter eggs and references and stuff for us to find and Daybreak has definitely not disappointed in that regard. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys all found it helpful and informative and once again, down there in the comment section below, let me know if I missed any pots of gold. If I did, I will go and find them for you. I'll take a screenshot and then I'll link all of you guys to that screenshot by pinning myself as the top comment. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.